Assalamualaikum and good day everyone. Let's continue with our chapter Electrostatic in Media. And in this video, I will focus on the conductor under static condition. As you still remember, these are the outline for this topic. In the previous video lecture, I already explained to you related to the three models of current, conductivity, and the resistance. And in this video, I'm going to focus on the conductor under static condition. Recall back the principle that we use to analyze electrostatic in a medium. Where in that principle, we need to consider three elements. Okay, the first element is the medium itself. So now we know our medium is a conductor, thus I'm going to write the conductivity here. And the second element that we need to consider is the applied field. And here, because it is electrostatic, then we have a field only. And I'm going to write as A applied. Okay, and this is our second element. And the third element is the charge particle. And I'm going to write this charge particle as a rho V. We want to make analysis what happened to this charge particle in this uh, conductor when we apply the electric or the electrostatic here. Okay, and the assumption that we made is this medium is an isolated medium where it doesn't connect to the electrical uh, circuit as in the previous medium. Therefore, the charged particle will move around this medium only since the outer of the medium is the dielectric. And from the analysis, we are expected to get these two values, okay, the rho V and the T. So this is our expected result. Okay, where we want to plot rho V over T. And let's say this is the zero. Okay, let's make assumption. Okay, to do the analysis here, we need to make an assumption. So we assume that when T is less than zero, the E applied is equal to zero. It means that the conductor is not exposed to any static field and the value of rho v at t is less than zero is equal to rho v naught. Okay, there is a value of the um, rho v. So let's say this is the value of our rho v and I'll denote this as a rho v node. Okay. Based on this graph, we need to develop the equation that contains only rho v and t. Okay, so how we are going to do that? Recall back the continuity current equation. Okay, where well, this is our continuity current equation eh? over dt. Okay, however, we can see that here it contains of the current density. But in the final uh, expected result, what we want is only the rho v and t. So we need to convert this until we get it in the term of rho v and t only. So let's say what we can do here is we can replace this j to the sigma e since we need or we know that our medium is a conductor. Thus using this conduction current density we can replace in this 
equation. Okay, from here, okay, from here, you can write sigma dot E is equal to negative D rho V over dt. Okay, and I want to convert this one. Okay, can you see that this one is related to this one? Dot E equal to rho V and from here, we know that the epsilon naught dot E is equal to rho V and this equation is the Maxwell equation number 1. So, from here, I can replace that this to get grad E is equal to rho V over epsilon naught. So, let's see how it goes. And finally, I can write my equation as sigma over epsilon naught rho V equal to negative d rho v over d t. See, now we get the equation in the term of rho v and d t only. Now I want to rearrange my equation to have a separate uh, component. Okay, so that's the negative in this uh, Area and this one I'm going to write it like this equal to d rho v over rho v. Okay, so now I'm separating the term dt and rho v. Okay, so therefore the final equation can be written as ln rho v equal to negative sigma epsilon naught t plus ln rho v naught. Okay, I need to add the constant here since we don't get the limit here. Okay, so as we can see from here, if the t is equal to zero, the value of, of our v is the v node. Okay, and this is what we agree uh, as our assumption. Okay, and now I can write rho v equal to rho v node epsilon negative sigma over epsilon node t. Okay, and this is the final equation that I can get. So let's proceed uh, with the plotting. Okay, I'm going to redraw our graph here where this is the T and this is the rho V. Okay, when the uh, T is zero, rho v will uh, have the value of rho v naught here. Okay, this is our rho v naught. Okay, and from here, if it is a good conductor, the value of the conductivity is very high. And when 3 is um, slightly increased, what happens? When to the value of rho v is it will become zero okay it will become zero okay in other words i can say for a very good conductor the conductivity is a uh, very high and there is a slightly uh, increase of the T, the rho V will become zero. Okay, the higher the value of the conductivity, the faster the rho V becoming zero. So that's the assumption that we can make from this 
equation. So now I'm going to proceed with the properties of conductor under static condition. Okay, let's proceed with the properties of conductor under static condition. Okay, the first property is the rho v itself where the rho v is become zero as discussed in the previous slide. Okay, so in other words, I can say that when conductor is exposed to the electrostatic field, there is no volume charge because the volume charge is um, what we call it change to the surface charge. Okay, and the, dis the distribution of the surface charge is depend on the E applied. Okay, based on the E applied. Okay, here, this is the surface where the E penetrate into the medium. And this is the surface where the E is coming out from the medium. Thus, the uh, surface where the E is penetrate, the negative rho S will be exist here. So this one is negative rho S. And at this surface, it will be positive rho s. And the distribution of rho s will be based on the direction of the E applied. If the E applied is from left to the right, the negative rho s will be at this area. And the positive rho s will be at this area. So the second property okay, can be right as rho s charges is created based on rho v okay and the third one is the e net or the resultant net okay as you can see here we have the positive charge at the top surface and the negative charge at the bottom surface. Due to this condition or the surface charge, it um, produce another E, okay, another field where here I name it as the E induced, okay, and induced where we know that it will flow from positive to the negative. So now we can uh, have two types of uh, E, E applied and E induced. So the total E uh, for this condition is E applied plus E induced. So I can write here E applied plus E induced. Okay. Now, you can see that the E induced is moving in the opposite direction of E applied. So, the E net for the conductor is equal to zero. Due to this condition, brings us to the fourth property where the grad of V is equal to negative E. And since our E is 0, then this one is equal to 0. Okay? And from here, we can say that the slope of the graph 0 due to the E 0. Thus, the uh, equation here can be denoted as we have the equal potential surface charge okay so the 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 v is equal in or uh, at any surface value so these are the properties of the conductor under the static condition when started from the equation in the previous slide rho v equal to zero 
and due to rho v equal to zero, uh, the charge density is uh, shifted to the rho s or to the charge surface or the surface charge. And due to the existence of the surface charge, it introduced another E, which is E induced. And the total E that we get here is zero since the E applied and E induced is in the opposite direction. Due to the E equal to zero, the slope of the graph is equal to zero. There is no changes and it caused the equipotential surface value. So that's all for the content of conductor under static condition. Thank you.